Hello Galaxy Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Galaxy. Today I want to update my fleet because first of all we did get these changes with the flagships. Um, we now have these kind of sub levels where we can upgrade from yeah, 8 to 8.1, 8 8.2 and so on. And we do already get um, upgraded skills during that. So this is really great. That's amazing. Um, but the main reason why I want to do this is the change that we had that the secondary flagship also can have equipment that is counting towards the fleet bonus. And as you can see here, I am struggling getting that gear up. The main reason for this is I do not have enough materials to upgrade all of these. Um, coming from the point that, as you know, I did use mainly or let's be honest, only cruisers. So all my fleets are very kinetic um, focused. And um, this means I do need a lot of these um, interface substances to do the upgrades. And also at higher level, the amorphous alloy. But I can't get enough of these. So now I was thinking, what can I do? And I think the most efficient thing I can do is to switch over um, using still my cruisers with, with my Cyclops, but also um, with the latest changes where we now have a total warship attack and it's not depending on the weapon anymore. Um, this allows us so much more flexibility. So what I'm going to do is based on the information I shared with you before, it looks like um, destroyers are really, really nice. I'm going to set up a destroyer fleet with my Prometheus, meaning I will have cruisers on my Cyclops, destroyers on the Prometheus. I will use frigates on both of them as some kind of support because in all my tests so far, I found out that having some additional um, support is helping a lot. So going to the ships, I'm still at tier 9, meaning I will have lasers for my destroyers and I will have kinetics for my cruisers. Now I could use tier 8 for the kinetics that they match the tier 9 cruisers, but um, I didn't see much of a benefit in the past because probably the main reason for this is that I'm using the frigates mainly as like some kind of meat shield in front and not the main damage source. So yeah, I'm going to do that and we'll be back in a minute with the changes. Um, before we do the changes, with the current fleet setup that I have and that is absolutely not optimal at the moment, what I can do is I can do level 35 pirates with my main fleet and I can do level 34 pirates with the secondary fleet. I will just attack them so that we can later compare the locks um, for, yeah, before and after. I'm also very curious how well the um, destroyer setup will work. And um, yeah, so now I'm going to do the changes and then I'll be back as soon as this is done. Okay, so I did upgrade the equipment. I had to change quite a little bit. Um, I now got purple lasers in my Prometheus. Um, I had to change also the defensive gear. I had to put in at least one shield because I'm just lacking of materials to equip all my flagships. For the Hercules, it's just going to be blue equipment. I don't have enough blueprints. The Cyclops got some golden and purple kinetics and in Subrontus we do have still some purple and one blue kinetic. So I might change going getting some of the purple over here to some better upgrades but I think for now it is pretty decent. I did not change the captains. Um, I will do that sometime later. For my Prontus and Cyclops fleet, I'm running mainly um, kinetic cruisers. I did add tier 8 kinetic 
um, frigates. I thought now that we do get the bonus from both, this might be the best choice. For, for this fleet, um, the Prometheus Hercules, I wanted to do it fully tier 9 destroyers, but as you see, I do not have enough destroyers at the moment. I'm going to produce a lot more in the next time. So I had to add um, a big bunch of tier 8 cruisers, which are also laser type, but I will fade these out. Um, I now want to see how these two fleets perform versus pirates. Um, I will let them run both versus level 35 pirates, just um, to see if that works. I would be really disappointed if the um, cruiser fleet with the Cyclops and the Prontus is still not able to do the level 35 pirates. But yeah, we will see how that works and we can compare the logs and um, yeah, come to a, a facet how good or bad this is. I can tell you it is really, really hard to upgrade all your weapons and gear. Um, for me, already doing it for four black ships is is a huge challenge. Um, my third fleet now has no equipment left. Um, also, it's not really ranked up yet. So that they removed the Caesars from the campaign shop will also hurt me a little bit in the future as soon as I get my Prometheus um, up. And the Prometheus already finished. Also, the, oh, that's not good. So both of them failed on level. 35. Um, that is horrible, I have to say. Um, very disappointing. So before I was able to do level 34, we will run them against level 34. I had Cyclops, Circulus matched together and I did had Prometheus, Prontus. Um, the reason why I didn't do that now was that I wanted to run the Prometheus with, um, with more um, destroyers than cruisers, but yeah, I will go back, I will change the equipment and do it similar as before and see how that works out. Okay, so I did swap the weapons from the Aculus and the Prontus. Um, I did put them in the other fleet, so we now do have the Prontus together with the Prometheus and the Hercules matched with the Cyclops. And we will try again how that works out on level 35 pirates. Um, I hope now it will be better again. Um, I have to say it is not exactly what I wanted to do. I planned to run the um, Prometheus with the destroyers laser base. Um, yeah, we will get to that sometime later. Okay, so the fight is over. Um, I'm very curious about the combination of Prometheus Prontus because before this one, Prometheus Prontus was able to kill level 35 pirates. So um, there we had, let's see, we did lose 7,000 kills, 14,000. And now we fail with kills 21,000. Um, that's, um, that's a very bad result. Um, let's take a look at our spaceport details. It might be coming. Let's see, we have kinetic weapons plus 45. We do have laser weapons plus 40. So that's not the main reason. We do have a much higher the attack bonus than anything else so that probably will have an effect but um, as we take a look into the fleet it is very cruiser heavy so that shouldn't be the main reason okay so I got the second fleet now working with um, level 35 pirates it's a, a tight fight but um, it worked the last two times, so um, it will work now also now that I record it again. The first fleet 
is not yet able to do level 35. The main reason for this is I switched it over to laser, but I do not have enough laser warships. So I will go to build laser warships for the next few days or one week just to get it um, set up correctly and be able to run it at its full potential. But um, yeah, as I said, um, having so many flagships now that we have to equip with weapons, I'm just not able anymore to do this all with the same kind of weapons and therefore I cannot just run all of them with um, tier 9 cruisers. So yeah, I hope this was an interesting and informative video for you, seeing how I try to improve my fleet, what I do, um, how I got the fleet now to manage to do the level 35. I'm still focusing here on the tier 9 cruisers. I do use two different types of frigates. This worked best so far. So I still have a total of 4,000 leadership in frigates, but I use 3,000 tier 9 and 1,000 tier 8. Um, as I said, this gave me the best results. This allowed me to kill the level 35 pirates. I didn't manage to get them down when I switched in a few um, destroyers into that fleet setup. So I'm running it only with cruisers and frigates. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe to the channel, join our Discord, and I'll see you all on the next video again.